let's talk about how I used my Erin Condren monthly planner functionally in the month of May. Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm on a journey to uncomplicate my life with functional planning and imperfect home management. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. I use an Erin Condren monthly planner as my catch-all planner. It's my weekly planner, even though it's a monthly planner. Um, I draw out my weekly plans on one of the line notes pages. The reason I do this is because my plans are task-based more than they are schedule-based. Yes, I do have appointments and things that um, places I need to be at certain times, but that's not frequent enough to merit needing an entire two-page spread for my schedule. It's mostly tasks that I need to get done within a time frame, like a week. So this is how I used my monthly planner functionally in the month of May. I like to keep this full-size dashboard in the front, um, really just for these sticky notes mostly. I did try to kind of put like a cheat sheet here on what I do on certain days and when I'm planning, like what kinds of things I need to consider whenever I'm planning. Um, I, I never look at this, never. Um, but this I use all the time. And the reason I have it here, I used to keep them on the inside front cover, but I change my cover every month. And it was kind of getting annoying to have to always move these things over. So I did put this dashboard in to hold these. This is a full size teacher planner one. Um, you can see it says like, make, you're making a difference every day. I just covered up the part on here that says like prep, or whatever that's like teacher related, like before school and after school, I just covered that up with some washi. And then up here, I just also covered up washi where it had some kind of teacher phrase or something on there. But this is really just for me to, to put sticky notes on. So I just have extra stickies here. And then I have like my cheat sheet for when our trash does not come. Um, this was a cheat sheet converting millimeters to inches. This is my bill cheat sheet. Um, the bills that come out of my personal account that are just like my personal bills and not like family and household bills, um, those bills I have here because that's stuff that I need to track. And so that's my little cheat sheet for that. And then just some extra sticky notes. This was the calendar for the school year that just ended. This is on a repositionable sticker that I printed it on. So I can remove this. And I did print out a new one also on sticker paper, but, and since I have just put it in the new Snap-on dashboards, this is actually from an old Daily Duo and it's got the mid-century circles on it and I just snipped it out. I haven't decided if I want to reuse this or not. Um, I will be purchasing a new monthly planner starting in July going forward with the new Inspire design. I did get one, You've, you may have watched the video with the review, but that one was a big eight and a half by 11 that the Erin Condren sent me, and that's just too big for me. So I am gonna purchase the Inspire design because I love the colors. This is one of the new Snap-in dashboards. It's double-sided. Um, these went out of stock, and I'm not sure if they are um, back or not. I know they're coming back, but I'm not sure if they're back in stock yet. Um, but this is just the school calendar. I cut it down and put it in here, but it is still on sticker paper because I printed it out a while ago. So I could put it on that page if I wanted. And then we wrote our summer bucket list on here. School ended on May 26th and we just kind of came up with a bunch, a list of a bunch of things we want to do this summer. And I put it in there and we'll just check it off here and then I can wipe it off when we're done. This bucket list thing came, it's a free printable from the day designer. So now let's go to May. This this was the monthly spread. I have been loving using the pattern that Erin Condren printed on the paper. I've been loving using that as my inspiration for color. Um, I just, I think it's a lot more calm and simple and easy on my eyes. The white space is important to me. And um, I love not having like bold headers and colorful date dots and stuff like that. I did redate my planner. I have a Monday start. This is a sticker that I made on my Cricut. I printed it on sticker paper and used my Cricut to cut it out. And then I have all of my dates on a white background with like a dark gray font to match what Erin Condren uses so that it just blends right in. And 
I know I can buy Monday start strips from Planner Kate and um, I just was too impatient <laughs> whenever I wanted to do this. I just decided to do it and I had the, the skills and the tools and the supplies available, so I did it. I do think that to save time and energy and just brain space, ordering some from Planner Kate makes so much more sense or whatever your favorite sticker shop is. Um, I don't think Planner Kate has white ones, I, but I do know that she does a color change. So um, I've had some questions about that in the past. So I just wanted to note that you can ask if they will do a color change on the Monday to Sunday strips. I don't know if they will, but it's worth asking. Um, I use the Erin Condren monthly designer sticker book to decorate. And I have both edition seven and edition eight that I kind of use both both sets interchangeably. I have Planner Kate week number stickers down the side here. I buy two sets of those and because like for example, week 22, it's on both the May spread and on the June spread. So I need like two week 22s. And then I keep that extra sheet of all the ones that don't straddle two months. I keep that in the back here and I just use that each week as I'm planning out my week. One of the things I remember about this month as we were planning that I had this originally, this sticker like over here, um, and then they changed the date on us. And that is why I like to use these repositionable stickers because things change. Using my planner functionally doesn't mean I don't use stickers. It just means I use them with like specific intention other than just making it look pretty. For me, the repositionable stickers work really well for when plans change because I can just move them instead of having to cross something out and write it in. It helps me keep my planner clean and feeling less chaotic. So um, I don't think there's really anything here of that's much of note, but now let's go to the dashboard. And actually I need to move this because I forgot to move it in my June plan with me. But this is just a printable sticky note freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. I always forget every month, I always forget. But I like it that it's on a sticky. I printed it on white post-it notes, but I like it because I can just move it to the next month and I don't have to rewrite it. So let's go ahead and just put that here for now. I didn't end up using this for anything. Um, you can see that in, June, I know this isn't a June flip through, but I did start putting stuff there. I'm still feeling some stuff out. I tracked some movement here and I really liked this idea and I did carry it over into June. And this basic setup for my dashboard has been working great. And I'm doing this in June as well, where I have goals here and then my focus goal here. Anything related to like my son and his school is here. And then this is just a project or something else I need to take notes on. In May, it was for book club and it came in handy. You can see I used it there. So here we are in the weeks and you can see that this is how I just draw in each week on one page. So this is week 18, 19, 20, and 21. And this is my favorite layout right now. It's kind of Hobonichi Weeks inspired, whereas that planner, it's like a long, tall, skinny planner and you've got this on one side and this on the other side. I just combine that into the one page here and it works out really well for me. These two weeks I use stickers from Stick With Nick and one of the No Crumbs kits. And I like how I ended up doing that the same on both weeks. So it looks nice when my planner is open on my desk, like it matches really nicely. Um, you can see here that I really get into my planner throughout the week. When I'm planning my week on the videos that you watch, the plan with me videos, it's very clean and plain and blank because I haven't gotten into the week yet. So here's one that I just planned. Um, we are currently on this Friday. So this is, I just planned this and um, there's nothing on it except what I initially wrote on it. But you can see that as I go through the weeks, I check things off, I cross things out, I move things around, I add more stickers. Um, you know, things got canceled. This week was a really weird week. And you know, this is just how I use my planner. I don't decorate it and then forget it. I actually like get in there and cross things off and I don't care how ugly it gets. Like you can see here, like my handwriting is pretty questionable. It's not a big deal to me because the most important thing is just getting the stuff on the paper so that I can see it and get it out of my brain. And then once it's here, I can come back to it later and cross it off as I do it. 
So these two weeks, I kind of did a similar situation where I tried to do two that like complemented each other pretty well. And here I was using a lot of Erin Condren product, um, Erin Condren washi, Erin Condren stickers. This is some of the new productivity washi. This was a to-do list I tried. I thought that I would need to move this into the following week. And then I didn't even cross anything off of this list. Um, I think this was another weird week. I've been kind of having some off days. I'm, I'm feeling out some new things for my schedule and what I'm trying to do in a day. And I'm, I am throwing myself off a bit. And so that's getting difficult, but, um, you know, that's just what happened. I didn't end up making any of those meals. I mean, there, it's just, this is how it goes. Like I plan for certain things and I set intentions and then things just change sometimes and you just roll with it, you know? Um, we're all still alive and it's about three weeks later. So nothing bad happened with, you know, not crossing all this stuff off. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's just kind of how things go. This week, I didn't have a schedule. I just had a to-do list. And then this week I had a smaller schedule over here on this side. And I did like this, but um, in hindsight, I would prefer the list section to be away from the coil because I'm left-handed and writing here is no fun. Not that I wrote there at all and I did have a sticky note that I could move, but anyway, that is how I used that week. And then I didn't use these pages for anything or these pages for anything. Sometimes that happens. Some, some months I use them for all kinds of different things. This month has just been, I don't know, very busy. I've been also planning a lot of things in another planner for my content and stuff, which is why you don't see it here. And so a lot of that ended up in that planner instead of in this planner. I'm still working on that system too. This over here was where I did my, what is this called? <laughs> my monthly reflection. This page got dirty because I used some dry shampoo that Batiste brand, I have brown hair. And so I had, I bought the brown kind because you know dry shampoo, when you spray it, it makes your hair like white. Well, the Batiste has like the different colors and I don't know why it didn't occur to me that if it's like a powdery substance and it's a color, it's gonna get on everything. I don't know. So I sprayed it in my hair that day and then I didn't think about it and I pulled my hair up into a bun and then I picked up my planner and like my fingers were all covered in that. So anyway, lesson learned. I don't really like that dry shampoo anymore. Not the ones that match your hair color anyway. I'll stick to the regular white ones. Anyway, so that I used a dot marker, the Ohuhu kind, and it does bleed through. So just be careful if you're getting those. I've only really found that the, um, gray one and then like the peach colored one don't really bleed through. I guess that one kind of bleeds through. They're not the best, but they get the job done. Anyhow, that is how I used my planner functionally in May. And then we just have the one more month in this and I am going to finish using it for June. And then in July, we're moving into the new planner that I'm gonna order as soon as, well, when you're watching this, I will have or already ordered it. Anyhow, that is it for this video. If you're still here with me, thank you so much for watching and being a part of my little functional planning community. So as a reminder, I will link some of these products in the description. I am an Erin Condren affiliate, so if you do purchase using my links, I get a commission, and I just wanna say thank you so much for helping me support my family in that way. And thank you for being here. Please hit the thumbs up button if you really liked the video and consider subscribing because I have new videos like this three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.